what's up y'all it's your girl kai and i am back with another video thank you guys so much for tuning in if you are new here what's up my name is kai and you are tuning into my youtube channel it must be kai so this is going to be a video on how i detangle my hair and how i get minimal shedding while doing it so what you're seeing is my freshly washed and deep conditioned hair so it's really soft right now and moisturized and it's ready for detangling if you don't know i do wash my hair in sections because i have so much hair it just makes it easier and so that means that i'm going to be detangling my hair in sections as well so first things first we're just going to section our hair into our four main sections and then as we go through to detangle we're going to separate them into even more sections so that's all i'm doing right here first section i'm going in with the tresemme flawless curls conditioner this is what i use to detangle my hair because it has tons and tons of slip and it's really nice to leave in i'm going to use my clip just to be able to keep my hair out the way and i'm going to be using a dimming brush by can too i've had this dimming brush for a really long time you can find these literally anywhere now and i use it because it has a lot of teeth and i'm able to get through my hair really nicely with detangling so I'm going to use a ton of conditioner starting off and I'm just going to put it all over the section. And what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to finger detangle this entire section first. So as you can see, I'm just going to be using my fingers and just going through the section as deeply as possible and just getting out the more easier knots that are in my hair. I'm just gonna be doing the shaft with my fingers. It's a little harder to get to the root with my fingers, but it makes it better when you go ahead and finger detangle your hair first because finger detangling is way more gentle than using a brush or a wide tooth comb. So it's good to go through your hair first and get out the bigger knots with your fingers because it's way more gentle and then going in with the dimming brush or a comb and this can also help you retain length because you're not being so rough on the ends of your hair so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to section off my hair i typically do three sections on each side and i'm just going to continue to add bit by bit more and more conditioner i don't want to put in a ton of conditioner like i'm going to rinse it out but i'm just going to put in enough for a leave-in just so i can have enough slip on my hair to detangle it the first thing that i'm going to be doing is starting from the ends and just being really really gentle because remember we're trying to retain as much length as possible and that's why we finger detangle first and we use a product with a lot of slip and then we're going to gently detangle the ends and work our way up do not start at the root and try to pull it down because all you're going to do is rip out a ton of your hair and so as you can see the ends of my hair are nice and juicy and they are moisturized and the comb and the dimming brush can slide gently through my hair because this is a very gentle way of detangling your hair I'm going to make sure that I go all the way up and I know the section is fully detangled when I can feel the teeth of the dimming brush on my scalp. That's what I want to feel. And so on each section that I do, I'm just making sure that I can feel the teeth of the dimming brush up against my scalp. And that's how I know the section is fully, fully detangled. And lastly, to finish off the section, I'm just going to go in with more conditioner and I'm just going to twist the section up. I typically just twist it any kind of way. I don't twist it very tightly. I simply twist it just to get it out of the way so I can continue the rest of my head. I don't even twist it all the way down. I leave the ends out because I know I'm just about to take it out anyway to style my hair once it's fully, fully detangled. So as you can see, and I'm just gonna let you all watch, I'm just gonna go through each section the exact same way. And I'm making sure to feel to make sure the section isn't too big because if your sections are too big, it's gonna take you longer to detangle the section than it normally would if you were to use a smaller section. 
so i'm just gonna once again make sure i'm using a good amount of that conditioner i'm not gonna use so much to where it's messy and where it's dripping out of my hair but just enough so i can have a good amount of slip as you can see those curls are popping back honey and the dimming brush is just gliding through effortlessly easily And this is exactly what we want to happen when we're detangling our hair. We don't want to be rough. We want to make sure that our hair is moisturized enough to have enough slip through it. After I finished washing my hair, my hair was damp. And the reason why I apply conditioner to the section immediately after I take it out of the after I take it out of its bun or section is because when I put conditioner on my hair it holds in that moisture I have high porosity hair so that means as quickly as my hair absorbs water it releases water so my hair dries extremely fast so it's very important that I always have some type of conditioner or leave-in on it so it can lock in that water so that I can continue to do my hair and it's not drying out and I have to rush through my hair in order to get it done. So that's why each section has a bit of conditioner on it to keep it from drying out while I work it. So I'm pretty much just gonna be doing the same thing over my entire head. Right here, I'm just letting you guys know to make sure that you are getting to your roots the crown of my head is the most tangled part of my head i always have to work through it for a while it's not always very easy the the crown part of my head is where my hair gets tangled the most i don't know why i don't know if it's because it's the thickest or what but we all know we have different textures all over our head sometimes so i'm just gonna take my time and once again just make sure that i feel the teeth of the dimming brush gliding against my scalp So now that I am finished with this section, it is completely done. I'm just going to let those twists chill and I'm just going to let you all watch me continue to do the same thing over all four sections of my hair and I'll come back at the end. Y'all don't mind me here. I was literally just trying to get a good thumbnail pic. Please don't mind me. I didn't I didn't feel like cutting it out. I was just like whatever, but I was trying to get a good thumbnail pic right there. <laughs>
Okay, y'all, so we are completely done with the back of my head, and now we can put that section away. We are about to move to the front of my head, and right here, I'm just parting it because I was literally about to do a middle part sleeve bun after I got done detangling. So that's what I'm doing right here is just making sure that my part is straight. But y'all, the front of my hair, I don't know about y'all, but I'm very tender headed still in the front of my head. My tender headedness did not go away after I grew my relaxer out. My The front of my head is so tender. It just, I'm very tender headed in the front of my head. That's all I can say. So detangling my hair, even when I do it, is not fun. And it's even worse when I'm getting my hair done and someone else is detangling the front of my head. So like I said, I'm just gonna continue this process. I typically use a little bit more conditioner in the front of my head to detangle because I need as much slip as possible because it hurts so bad in the front. Even when I'm trying to be as gentle as possible, even when I'm just using my fingers. I really did a good job in this video of not making faces of how much the front of my head hurt from me just messing with it and combing it out. So that's all I have to say about the front of my head. Shout out to all my girlies who are tender headed. If you're tender headed, let me know in the comments if you're tender headed the front, the back, or the sides of your head. And let, let me know in the comments who else is tender headed. So I know I'm not the only one.
all right y'all so we are finishing up on the very very last section of detangling my hair i pretty much do this process every time i wash or rinse my hair and change it to a new style because it makes it easier to transition from style to style when i detangle my hair every single time so i just want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this video i'm going to show you i got very little shedding when I did this process and just took my time to make sure that my hair was getting detangled and that I was being really gentle with it. So I thank you guys so much for tuning into my YouTube video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what other videos y'all would like to see. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.